Hello everyone and welcome to my final vlog of 2017. This series was started by me last year because I wanted to thank so many people for making my year so much better. And I thought since 2017 was kind of rocky as well, I thought why not do it again? Because I've grown closer to so many more people than I even did last year. And it's been amazing to see how some people that I honored last year still are my friends today and who I talk to. And of course, I've grown apart from some people, but that's just how life goes. And with this 2017, I just want to thank so many people for being a positive influence in my whole year. Well, starting off this year, one of the main people who have been an influence in my year is Tom Scott. I started watching his series last week, which unfortunately is about to end in the upcoming year. But he is such a great guy, and I just want to thank him because he has been positive in my life, even when he's been so down and depressed in his own life. It has inspired me, and I love what he does. And his crew in with Turbo Punch is just so fascinating to see. He always puts out good work and he tries so hard. And with watching last week, I started following his girlfriend, Charlie, aka Magician Bell. And she is such a sweetheart. I love her so much and she has wonderful art, which I eventually want to buy. Tom Scott and Charlie are two of the people that I want to eventually meet whether at a VidCon, playlist, somewhere, but I do want to meet both of them because they have been such a big influence and they're great with what they do. And I just want to say thank you to them. The second YouTuber I've been starting to watch more is Kick the PJ, or PJ if you just want to go with that. But he is such a creative person and I'm sorry it took so long for me to finally start to watch him in depth. But his storytelling is amazing, his art, the looks of his work, he just does such beautiful stuff. And I am finally grateful to be able to watch Oscars Hotel thanks to Kick the Updates because I won their giveaway and so I'm excited for that. I even made a skit, sort of, based on his lullaby cue, which you can go watch, I'll put the little eye bubble up there. But yeah, he has been such an inspiration, and I just love what he does. And I've got even closer to the Tiny Planet Explorers, that's his fan group that we call ourselves, because he made a skit called Tiny Planet Explorers. Some of the people that I've met in that group have better YouTube channels, they can sing, they know how to do their stories, and man, I'm so jealous of it. I hope to get on their level one day. But it's so great to talk to all the different people we come from all walks of life. And it's just so fun. And I love PJ and I love the Tiny Planet Explorers. And they just have been such a great influence in my 2017. Now, I'm going to kind of try to make this short. But the final main uh, YouTuber or celebrity, whatever, even though he doesn't want to be called a celebrity, is Thomas Sanders. My guy. There's, there's a lot to say about Thomas Sanders. He is just such a great person. I love him. I love his community. Dan and Phil were my first major fandom that I was a part of. But being a part of the Faders community is just something else completely different. The Faders community is so positive, so loving, so accepting, and I am so happy to be a part of it. Thomas is one of the best celebrities that I know that has a personal communication with his audience. Not to say that, of course, other celebrities, YouTubers, and all I stars don't, but Thomas regularly responds to people. He compliments them. He reviews their reactions, he reacts to what people ask him to, and he is so supportive of fan art. Thomas is such a great person, him and his friends. I love every single one of his friends. He, oh, 
his friends are so supportive of him and what he does and he is so loving of his friends and supportive of what they do because of him i want to see more of what his friends do they're so creative he is so creative and the fader community is so creative as well i with some other fellow fanders who have become my good friends in the past months have started the Fanders Art Museum. I've always wanted to start an art page, but I never knew who would it be about. And when I started being in the Fander community, that was just perfect because there's so much art, so much creativity. People sing, people act, people draw, people create videos, people cosplay. There's so much the Fander community does, and I love everything they and I am so happy to be able to support the Fender community with the Fender Art Museum. I'm so happy to have created something that people love and people can share and people just are loving on each other. I just tell you, this community is so, so special. There are four people that I want to acknowledge from the Fader Art community, and three of them actually helped me run Fader Art Museum, and that is Lucy, Sai, and Emma. Those three are my go-to people. They help me so much, they're so passionate about what they do. They are artists themselves, and they have become some of my great friends. Lucy is so sweet, Sai is so funny, and Emma is just somebody that I just love to throw my love at and protect and just want to inspire her because she does such great work. With those three, Lucy, Sai, and Emma, just thank you so much for helping me. Thank you so much for keeping the Fader Art Museum running and keeping my dream going because this is something that I've always wanted to do. And I thank you three for helping me and you all have become such great friends and I love you all so much. And thank you for being such a positive influence in my life. One more person I want to talk about before I get to that final fourth person from a fan of our community is somebody who is separate from everything but has become a real good friend. And that is my boy, Jaden. He has been through a beautiful transformation this year. He is just such a great dude to talk to. I love him so much, and I love how brave he is. I met him actually when I was fangirling over Yuri on Ice, and we probably will fangirl, fanboy over Yuri on Ice when it comes back together again, but he has become one of my good friends that I can just talk to. And Jay, man, I just want to say keep doing what you're doing because you are an awesome person. And I appreciate you very much. I love your drive, your tenacity, and just your easygoingness that just makes you so lovable. You try to understand, to educate yourself. I can see you become a, a motivational speaker because you speak so much truth. You know who you are at such a young age and feel proud about that. Feel proud about what you do because what you do is important. And so Jay, I love you very much. And thank you for being a positive influence in my 2017. And the last person that I have to talk about is my girl, who I call my number one fan, Maggie Paye. <laughs> Maggie, I just have to just give you tons of love. I met Maggie through the Fander community. Maggie is such a great friend. She's always inspiring me. She likes my stuff. She actually continues to watch me. And Maggie's just such a great person. I can just talk to her and she's so chill. Maggie just keeps on making me want to do better. Because she's always there, always present, always watching what I do. I feel like I actually have somebody who watches my stuff, who is a fan of mine, and I appreciate that so much more. I just love and adore Maggie. 
Maggie is so creative. She plays ukulele, she writes, she sings. I'm just so happy that she likes what I do because it does make a difference to me. And I thank Maggie so much for being such a beautiful influence. And with that, I hope you all have a happy new year. Please like the video if you have liked it, subscribe to see more of what I'll do in 2018, and as always, may grace be in your space.